In this example, we want to find the volume of the described solid S. The base of S is a circular disk with radius of 4R. Parallel cross sections perpendicular to the bases are squares. Okay, so, all right, so we have uh, in here, in this figure, we have the uh, circle with the radius of 4R. Okay, so that means, okay, at this point, we have minus 4R, and this point is positive 4R. Okay, so sitting, so basically we have, this is the, you can think of this as the bottom, the, 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 on the very, on the base, on the, which the figure is, uh, is on top of, okay. So if you look at this figure down here, this is actually, okay, we have the, the square, okay, and as it's propagating in the x direction, it's creating this, uh, this shape, this volume that you see here, okay. All right, so what we need to do is we need to, to find the volume of the structure. We need to find the, the area of the cross section. Okay, in this, in this case, the cross section is a square. And then we're going to integrate that within our bounds, and that will give us the volume. Okay, all right, so I'm going to draw in here. Okay, in this, uh, we have in this circle, okay, I'm going to draw in the cross section. So that cross section is acting as a representative piece. Okay, and okay, so this is, so remember, this is varying, okay, this is, right, okay, as it varies over in the, right, as it varies over the x-axis, again, it's generating this volume that you see here, okay, all right, so we need to figure out, okay, we need to figure out the length of this piece, once we get that, then we can uh, find the area of that cross section. Okay. All right. So for our, okay, so for a cross section, okay, okay, it's a square. All right, and it has some thickness to it. Okay. Okay, so that thickness, okay, so that thickness corresponds to dx, okay. All right, so we need to find the, we need to find the volume, uh, I'm sorry, the area of this cross section, okay. All right, so we can do that by looking at the equation of the circle, okay. So the equation of the circle is going to be, Okay, we have x squared plus y squared equals to 4r squared, which is 16r squared, okay? So we can go ahead and solve for, uh, we can solve y in terms of, in terms of x. So that's going to give us y equals to square root of 16r squared minus x squared, okay? And we're only looking at the positive part. So the positive square root corresponds to the top half of this circle here. Okay. The negative square root will be in the bottom half. Okay. All right. So this, okay. So this is our, right. So this is our function in terms of X. Okay. So that's describing this again. That's describing this part of the circle. Okay. Right here. All right. So that tells us that the length, okay or the distance from here, from the x-axis to the point on the circle, in terms of x, is just y, right? It's going to be this function, okay? Okay, so the, right, so the distance, okay, so this is, so, so this is for half, okay? So that distance that you, with our function, okay, remember that's measuring from the x-axis. So that part corresponds to the square root of 16r squared minus x squared, okay? All right, so to get the, the full length, uh, we can just go ahead and multiply it by two, okay? 
All right, so I'm just going to go in here and double this. Okay, so that's going to give us two here. Okay, so now if you know for the square, all the sides are equal. So that means the other side is also two times the square root of sixteen r squared minus x squared. Okay. All right. So then we can get our area. Okay. So the area of our square. In this case, this is our cross section. So the area of the square is going to be two times the square root of sixteen r squared minus x squared squared. Okay. All right. So that is the area in terms of x. Okay. So that's we're gonna. So then we're going to take the integral of this now to get the volume. All right. So. This, so this cross section, okay, this cross section, cross section is going between minus 4r and positive 4r. So that's, so those are going to be our bounds. Okay. So we're going to take the integral from minus 4r to 4r of 2 times, okay, we can go ahead and, so we can go ahead and square this. Okay, so this is going to give us 4 times uh, 16 r squared minus x squared. Okay. All right, so to simplify the calculation, uh, we can use symmetry here. Okay, so we can rewrite this as 2 times the integral going from 0 to 4r. Okay, so that means we're going to go from, okay, we're going to go from the, from this point, from x equals 0, that's the origin, to 4r. And then we get half of the volume, so then we can just double the result that we end up getting, okay. Okay, so we have integral from 0 to Well, from 0 to 4r, okay, and of uh, 4 times 16r squared minus x squared. All right. Okay, so we can take out uh, 4. That's going to give us 8 here. So we have 8 times the integral from 0 to 4r of 16r squared minus x squared dx, okay. So taking the integral of this, we're going to get 16r squared times x, okay, remember r here is constant, minus 1 third x cubed. And evaluate this from 0 to 4r, okay. All right, so now, okay, we're going to get okay, 8 times, okay, plugging in 4r for x, and we have 1 third 4r cubed. And then putting in 0 for x, obviously we're going to get 0 there. Okay, so we just need to simplify this. Okay, so we have... 8 times, this is going to give us uh, 64 times r cubed minus, okay, we have 64 thirds r cubed. Okay, so that's going to give us 8 times 128 thirds r cubed. Okay, and so then this would give us 1,024 divided by 3. So 1,024 thirds times r cubed. Okay.
All right, and okay, this is going to be um, if this was for application prompt, this would be units cubed. Okay, so that's the volume of the structure that you see here in this figure. Okay, so again, we do this by using the cross section method. Okay, so we take, all right, so we have our cross section, which in this case is a square, and that's propagating along the x direction. Okay, and so based on our function, we know that the distance from x to the point on this, on this curve is going to be uh, this function here. Okay, the square root of 16r squared minus x squared. So that's only half of it. And so we double that result to get the to get the full length, okay? This full length here, okay? Okay. And then we, since we know that, uh, since we know that side, then we can use the fact that um, because the square has equal sides, so to get the area, we just square that, okay? And so then we take the integral from minus four r to four r. That's the same as uh, taking twice the integral from 0 to 4r. Okay, so we take the integral, evaluate from 0 to 4r, and we get our result here. Okay, so that is how you find the volume using the cross section technique.